Yeah, I guess another response video to mm, what monkey edit it edit. Uh, he's got to keep playing with Morph's name. I don't know why he's got to do that. I mean, obviously the extra H's are only there because, you know, screen names are used up, blah, 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 blah. Same reason why you have 888 after your wise monkey. So why do you keep playing the game, idiot? No, that's right, because you don't have a real argument. So all you can do is, like, laugh at his big feet or something. Ugh. I don't know why anybody bothers with you. You're just a fucking troll. Uh, the substance of your commenters are just trolls. The classic scallops <laughs> type troll. Ugh, fuck. So anyway, since you threw the argument out there, I mean, you know, again, this is kind of a good argument. I like arguing this because it's just so silly. So all these people think the universe is too complicated, uh, too mysterious. So we've abolished the idea that God created it. Because we can, we can see that there's no mechanism of fairness. The most obvious thing an intelligence would create is a mechanism of justice and fairness. Obviously, that doesn't exist in the natural world in any manifestation. Obviously, it's void of intelligent supervision. No, we can't draw that conclusion. Verboten. We must believe there's possibility that God does exist. His name is Rudolf Sneakenschneier. Um, it's obvious he's got a Rudolph name because, uh, you know, he let the Holocaust happen. <laughs> it was okay with him. 50 million dead people, that's okay. A few hundred, I mean, 10 million extra disabled people, shell-shocked, ruined, physically destroyed, uh, homeless. Yeah, well, no, no, no big deal. So anyway, so, but yeah, we have to leave. It's an open question. It's an open question. Just such a pile of shit. No, we can look at the world without um, having to be each thing. You can, uh, so he has this incompleteness theory bullshit. Like somehow we have to know every detail of the universe to draw a conclusion. Like you'd have to know every marble intimately in your bag of marbles to be able to draw any conclusions about marbles. What they're possible, what they can do, what they're, how you got them. You couldn't answer any of these questions until you knew every single detail of every single marble, where every atom was. No, you don't need to know all that. You know what a marble is, you know what it can do. We know what the universe is. It's a bunch of matter, uh, primarily just caught up in a cycle of uh, complexification and resimplification. Okay, it burns up into little photons, flies out into the universe, the matter eventually con consolidates again, turns into little dense pockets of matter, and it explodes and particulates again. So it's just caught up in these kind of cycles. Um, most of the universe is incredibly hostile in terms of the, the chemistry being rather violent um, and uh, expedient. All right, and so, but in little dark corners of galaxies where there isn't a ton of radiation spilling over everything, uh, yeah, this can happen. Apparently, okay, it's happened one time as far as we know and uh, All the evidence points to it being Perfect storm kind of weird Because it never happened twice here not a tiny little change in the DNA structure nothing not one variant on the on the Adam cell <laughs> the Eve cell whatever you want to call it the first cell so maybe not very common chemistry maybe this is it. And we know what it's built on, okay? It's just this idea that you create an atom and then you, the Eve thing happens and then you have a Joe and a Fred and uh, they do the biblical thing. They kill each other. And whoever wins, you know, gets to own the future. And then they just get into this competitive game. They start eating each other's own sh they eat each other's shit. They eat their own shit. Uh, and... Uh, uh, that's the game, and they acquire tools that enable them to, you know, consume their neighbor. And we've acquired the tool of sentience and intelligence, uh, and uh, now we're all full of ourselves because we have a bigger tool belt than the other people on the planet and the other animals. So we're all full of ourselves. But the fact is, we have this big fancy tool belt, and what's the game we're playing? That's right, it's tic-tac-toe. <laughs> okay, it's a simple game. Uh, and uh, unfortunately, there's no solution 
for that simplicity. We are built to be competitive. We gain our satisfaction from climbing unnecessary hills. We see it in people. They go out and they climb stupid mountains that have already been climbed just because they're desperate to climb something. That's all we do. We chase. Um, we do the my you know butt is shinier than your butt which it is mine is much better than yours uh yeah that's what we do we're competitive animals period all right and now we we have the pretense of civilization but we're still at the core we still want to be the hero we still want to vanquish the enemy um we still want to win our little wars uh because that's what feeds our egos and that's all that we have uh, you know, your video, you said something so, so preposterously stupid. Well, you said a lot of things that are preposterously stupid. Uh, but, but you ended it with this, and one of your commenters, oh yeah, that, that stupid, uh, Dana Cat Loves Me or whatever. That guy's looking dumber and dumber. I mean, he even made, the, again, the stupid remark. Oh, well, if all the anti-natalists, they won't breed, and then their, their philosophy will end with them. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, I mean, it's so pathetic. It's pathetic. Do you really think my father was an antinatalist? Oh, you retard. I mean, really? You, are you really this dumb? No, these people will just keep coming up. That The society will keep breeding them in its irresponsible, imposition manner. It will keep breeding children that are smarter than their fucking retarded parents. And they'll grow up and say, you know what? My mother was an ignorant slut and my father an irresponsible asshole. All right, and that's what you're going to get for your trouble, fuckers. You're going to have your little baby. And he's going to grow up smarter than you. And he's going to look at you like a dumb fucking pig. And he's going to say, holy shit, that piece of crap gave birth to me? Ugh, disgusting. Yeah, well, I ain't wiping nobody's ass. <laughs> okay, I mean, I like my father well enough. But yeah, he's an idiot. Uh, anyway, you know, at least he had an excuse. Like I said, he grew up in a time when philosophy hadn't really taken off yet. And people really couldn't think outside the box. But they can now. This conversation is taking place now. So you can't fool kids forever anymore. You can't dupe people into being slaves to your silly traditions. And your fucking... It's plainly... Um, fantasy notions of reality like we're all gonna we're gonna live in Star Wars and we're gonna go to like the alien bar and have like a drink of slunk cleany slunk cleany and uh, it'll be so cool because it really makes you stoned and and like the the guy with a trunk for a face like he's gonna go blah 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 and I'm gonna go like holy shit man I don't know what the fuck you're saying because it's like alien language and shit oh it's gonna be so cool and then like you know Owen's gonna come in, she's gonna like, have 17 tits, and it's gonna be like so cool, except, you know, it's gonna look creepy as hell. I'm not gonna wanna fuck something with 17 tits. It's holy, it's ugly, I think it's an odd number. It's like totally fucked up. So yeah, I don't know, I ain't doing that. That's creepy. But it'll be so cool anyway, really cool, you know. Like, we'll not even have colds anymore and stuff. It'd be so cool because, like, we can go to the bar every night then because we'll never have a cold. And we go, like, the bar every night and drink slunk plink and, 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 like, not have sex with the 17 titted woman. And, 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 and there won't be many commercials on TV. Not too many. Not, well, and the movies will be on 4D. And it'll be, well, kind of maybe. If you wear the, well, you have to wear the glasses with the implant thingy on them. So, I mean, that might cost the, you got to buy it from Apple. And you know how Apple, you know, they charge you. And then they charge you twice because it doesn't work. And you have to send it back. And then they charge you double, triple. Well, yeah, you have to pay triple. But, you know, you still will get it, man. It'd be so cool. Or whatever. I mean, you people are just so full of fucking shit. We know what this game is. And it's a game you will never fucking win. Ever without creating losers. You can't be the winner if there aren't losers for you to look down your snotty-nosed monkey face at. And you're so, you're so, you're so lost in that anyway. I mean, your whole personality is built on your elitism. You can just smell. You talk about a stench, you stink of elitism. You stink of a, of a, of a better than thou attitude. Uh, you fucking shit monkey.
Uh, I mean, you've got every pretense of some sort of British shit wad that, uh, I, I mean, as a colonist, I would have been glad to stomp. Oh, you pretentious motherfucker. Um, oh, ugh, creep fucker. Anyway, so then the other thing he said that was just totally stupid is like anti-natalism is castrating us. That's what they want. They want to castrate us. Now, just just think about this for you know, like any male. Think about it for like I don't know, 48 seconds. Just think about the idea of not having kids, and then think about what that does for your penis. Oh yeah, not having kids is really fucking cool. My wife doesn't get fat. Okay, I don't have a bunch of I don't have these little monsters sucking away all my fucking pleasure money. Yeah, not having kids is like a super boner. That's like double Viagra. That's like having four fucking testicles. It like doubles my balls not to have kids. How the fuck could that possibly be castration? Oh, that's right. It came out of dumb fucking shit monkey's mouth. So of course it's bullshit. Oh. I mean, come on. Not having kids is the most penis liberating thing on earth. Oh. Such a stupid remark. Ugh. But anyway. But again, that's how they have to frame the argument. As if somehow, oh, we'll be so blighted by the burden of not having little poopy diapers in our life. Family life with its poopy diapers and its autism and its drooling and its vomit. Oh, oh dear, the humanities. Oh. <laughs> yeah, sorry, no sale, asshole. Uh, sell that lie to somebody borged by the uh, corporate initiative. But you're not going to sell that to somebody with a brain. And somebody with a life. Somebody who has something to do with their life. Uh, beside be a servant to a little I want monster. Ugh, so fucking stupid. So anyway, then I'll just get the last thing you got to was... Uh, let's see... I mean, he just keeps focusing on suffering. Yeah, the fact that suffering matters is a truth. It's not the fucking whole philosophy, asshole. It's one piece of the philosophy. Yes, it's an important piece. Oh, you're just so fucking useless and stupid. Uh, all right, it's unintelligent design. The game is system. All right, outside the system or part of the system. You know, first, you have to have a system to describe it that way. And these aren't systems. Okay, they're just um, a few um, physical facts, like gravity. All right, that's what the universe is made out of, the periodic table. You don't have to be part of it. You don't have to be, just because you're made out of chemicals doesn't mean you can't look at it and uh, understand the mechanism. It's just stupid. It's a dumb argument. Again, it's not about knowing everything. It's about knowing what you need to know. It's about knowing what a marble is what it's capable of doing. We can do that. We can know what rocks are, our path is. We can know what a field is good for. We can understand things and describe them quite completely without knowing every blade of grass. Uh, all right. You keep saying nihilistic. Uh, it's nihilism, asshole. <laughs> but regardless, it certainly isn't a, a, a philosophy built on um, our inability to act, or uh, uh, a lack of necessity to act, which nihilism is all about. Nihilism is about selfish self-indulgence in a futile give-up kind of perspective. All right, that's, and that has nothing to do with anti-natalism. So that's just kind of bullshit. Um, let's see. I mean, nihilist would say if you want to have kids, have kids. All right, a rational person would just say, no, figure out whether you really need to have them, not whether you want them, whether there's a need for them, All right? whether it's going to be a productive or destructive act. All right, now there's one thing I want to get to. Sureness is uh, unscientific. Oh, yeah. No, I'm sorry. That's just bullshit. There's lots of scientists quite sure that we evolved. They're quite sure they understand a big giant segment of that, uh, 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 the function of evolution. And uh, yeah, they're sure beyond reasonable doubt 
our reasonable contest, our reasonable alternative theory. And that's all they need to be sure beyond. You haven't provided me an alternative explanation for what life's doing. You just say, oh, well, there's, we have potential. You don't describe that. And then you say, we should be planning for the future. The future what? Again, what? Doing, doing exactly what? Chasing purple-haired ladies in, you know, what? Culottes and, let's see, doing what? What do they do in the future besides have purple hair? Uh, you know, you have, you have a, a, a hoop in their nose. I mean, come on. We're not progressing. There's nowhere to go, asshole. Uh, we're stuck on Desire Island. All there are are stupid desires and inefficient means for satisfying them. And an antinatalist is just saying it's tic-tac-toe, you can't win, it's a kid's game, grow the fuck up and let it go. All right, play out your string because you're here, but don't sit there and glorify this stupid game. It's idiotic. You're eating your own fucking ass. That's all you can do here. That's all the game provides for. Okay, it's climb stupid Mount Nothing. That's it. There's Mount Moron, Mount Nothing, Mount Stupid, Mount Waste of Time. All the mountains are stupid, idiotic. They're all made of shit. So you're all trying to climb mountains of shit for absolutely no purpose, no accomplishment, beyond the fact that, well, I did it, and my granddaddy did it, and my great-granddaddy did it, so I think you should do it too. Well, that's the definition of retarded psychology and uh, uh, illogical thinking. Thank you very much. And such. Sorry. Yeah.